Let's continue on. To chapter two, departures. Three days later, near the Lordaeron coast. It's been three days and this prophet has yet to show himself. I hope I'm not making a huge mistake by trusting him. Warchief, the clans are assembling as you ordered, but it will take them some time to reach us. Then we must prepare this camp immediately. I want my warriors to have food and proper lodgings when they arrive. Yes, Warchief. Warrior, has there been any word from Grom Hellscream? He and the Warsong clan were supposed to have been here by now. No, Warchief. We haven't heard from Hellscream in some time. Damn it, Grom. Where the hell are you? And we have a new quest. Let's take a look at it. We have to build a burrow. We have to build a war mill. We have to build a barracks. They will explain what all of those are as we go. And we have to make five grunts. I'm going to make a hell of a lot more than that because I can. Uh, the Orcish Horde will be arriving soon. This camp must be prepared for their arrival. The blinking button at the top of the screen indicates that your quest journal has been updated. To find out more about your objectives, click on the quest button. I did. Next. Are you tell me what to do next? In order to establish a base and recruit more troops, it is necessary to collect two different types of resources, gold and lumber. To learn how to harvest gold, select a peon. This guy here? You didn't tell me which one was the peon. We can also hit this one to, to hit the idle worker, workers, which is on F8, way over on the right of the, screen, of the keyboard, unfortunately. All right, peon. Yes. Peons can harvest gold from gold mines such as the one located here. See, they told me gold. Select your peon and right click on the gold mine. So you don't accept my ability to identify a gold mine, but you let you accept that I know which one's the peon. All right, right click the gold mine. Go. Once a peon has been ordered to harvest gold, you will automatically travel back and forth between the gold mine and your closest great hall. Which is this? Here are a few additional peons. To increase the rate of gold collection, order them to harvest from the same gold mine. All you guys, get me gold! The amount of gold that you currently possess is displayed in the upper right portion of your screen. As peons return to your great hall with gold, your gold stockpile increases. Their pathing isn't necessarily the best. Now that your gold income is steady, you will want to produce additional peons to construct the rest of your base. To train a peon, first select your great hall. This thing right here, once again, they don't accept my ability to be able to find that myself, but this. There is now a train peon button located in the command card near the bottom right corner of the screen. To begin training a peon, simply click this button. Train peon! Training a unit takes time. When your great hall is selected, you can see a progress indicator in the bottom middle portion of your screen. You can queue up additional peons by clicking multiple times on the train peon button. Each unit is, that is queued will automatically begin training when work. the previous unit finishes. Yeah, let's do that in a little bit. Yes. In order to support a larger population, additional orc burrows will have to be constructed. Burrows provide the food that allows you to train more troops. I don't know how to, to build. To construct a burrow, select one of your peons. Hey, peon. Now, click on the build structure button in the command card. This one down here. There's the wolf howl. That's when it's night. Notice that additional buttons are now available in the command card. To construct an orc burrow, click on the build orc burrow button. This one right here. Now move the mouse to where you want the building to be placed. Doesn't matter. Once you have found an appropriate location, Left click to begin construction. But it can't be built on the rock there. Work, work. Work, work, indeed. Make me another peon. Are you gonna tell me about In wood? In order to produce additional buildings, you must gather more lumber from the nearby forests. To harvest lumber, select a peon and right click on a nearby tree. Like this one over here. I can do that. Now that your peon has been assigned to gather lumber, he will automatically travel back and forth between the forest and your closest great hall. Look at that guy, though. Look at him. He's chopping while holding lumber. Are you going to tell me about the war mill soon? I want to build a war mill now. Well-placed war mills can increase the efficiency of your lumber harvesters. Try ordering a peon to construct a war mill near where your peons are chopping wood. 
You build me a war mill, right there. Notice that it doesn't take any wood to build the war mill. I find that kind of strange. Hey, Orc Burrow is done. Build me another one then. Where is it? Orc Burrow. It's on O. Oh, I hate that. And then you can press the space bar whenever you hear the word complete. Now that your burrow has been completed, the peon who built it can be assigned to a new task. To increase the rate at which you collect lumber, train additional peons and assign them to harvest from the forest. Yeah, we'll work on that. We'll train in another one. We'll get another uh, burrow going. I'll probably use use the actual button for that one because it's on oh i hate oh because it's on the right side of the keyboard and i have you know only my left hand there because i'm Ready using the work. mouse you know what i mean something need doing yes something need doing go do it go doing it let's get on to it. can you move like go i do like that the the heroes like are cavalry yes. in this work game complete. Dabu. all right war mill is done Yes. Anything to say about it? War mills contain various upgrades that can be researched to improve your troops. To see what upgrades are available, select your war mill. All available upgrades appear as buttons in the war mills command card. To research an upgrade, left click on the one you want to purchase. Let's do armor. Also, I need one more peon for the mill. Sorry, the mine. He said mill a lot. All right. Um, are, you gonna, are you gonna tell me about the barracks soon? Congratulations. You have accumulated enough gold and lumber to construct a barracks. This will enable you to train additional troops for your army. To construct a barracks, select the peon, click on the build structure button, and click on build barracks. You go over there, something you build me. Yes, yeah, something need doing. We need the barracks, which is here. That one is BB. That one I'll remember. All right, barracks, as you can see, is quite quite a large structure. Why couldn't you build there? Is he stuck? I'm in the tutorial and I've already failed. This is this is working out great. Somebody else build me the damn barracks. All right. Let's let's build two of them to try to make up for it. Let's also go for the, the melee upgrades. Build me another one. Like that does not look like he is boxed in at all, but he cannot go there. Kill him. Kill him. He's just that useless to me now. We're already we're in the tutorial still. And I'm killing my own units. This is not a good sign for the rest of the Let's Play at all. At all. Are you guys done yet? I need one more guy in the mine. Ideally, you want one guy waiting for the mine at all times. That's when it's at peak efficiency. And there's some times when there is not anybody waiting in line. And that's how I know that uh, it's not at peak efficiency. Eventually, it will work itself out. Pathing, like I said, is not the best when it comes to the peons here. If they could walk oh, like Research through each other, complete. it would be good. Work All right, complete. we are good there. What do you, want? Uh, you get that going. Train now me that your grunt. barracks is complete, you can begin training grunts to reinforce your army. To train a grunt, first select your barracks. No, hold on. Another orc burrow. Let's let's build it like out in the open then. Now click on the train grunt button. Continue producing grunts until you reach your quest requirement. All right. You have just placed a rally point for your structure. Whenever a unit finishes training from this building, he will automatically travel to the rally point's location. To place a rally point, select one of your unit producing structures and right click on the ground where you want the rally point to appear. You can place a rally point for your great hall on either a gold mine or a tree to make newly trained peons automatically begin harvesting. But I don't really need to do that anymore. Uh, we're pretty much harvesting as quickly as we can here. Because there can only be one guy in the mine at any given time. Alright, uh, I also set hotkeys. I don't know if you caught that. 
uh, shift click to select both of them, shift and a button. I went with three. So now whenever I hit three, it will select both of my barracks. We need more gold. And I'm working on getting you more gold. My life for the horde. For the horde. Uh, honestly, I think that 50 will be enough supply, so just go get me wood, I guess. There's really nothing more I could do. I could build watchtowers, but that's not going to be useful for me. I already have an altar of storms, so there's no real point in me making another one. I'm pretty much set just waiting on the army at this point. Uh, also, no upkeep, so my gold income is at 100%. That will change. That will change. All right, we have completed our main quest. You orcs are in violation of the Alliance Internment Act. We've already captured one of your leaders. If you surrender now, we'll spare your lives. Warchief, they say they've captured one of our leaders. Maybe they're referring to Grom. I hope not. But if they have captured Hellscream, I'll make them regret it. Lotarogar! Come, my warriors. We must drive the humans back. No, they're in the gibbet. Our town my is life. under attack. And our town is under attack. They are attacking our watchtowers. As you can see, our watchtowers do have defenses on them by themselves. And I do believe that they'll be able to handle it by want? themselves. For whatever reason, during the cutscene, uh, every time two Something of my doing? grunts uh, we'll stop mining. I don't know why. Uh, what we can do is send one troop down there to deal with the forces. All right, three more grunts, please. Uh, are you guys still working on them at least? You are. All right, how many do I have? Uh, the wretched humans have been destroyed. Indeed, they have. Move Thrall and the rest of your forces across the bridge and locate Grom. You guys are both going there, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's get on with it. I will familiarize myself One with of all of the controls. Your was damaged during the fight. To repair a damaged building, select a peon, click the repair button, and then left-click on the desired structure. Or you can right-click it. You can just right-click it. That's a lot easier. And it's nighttime again. Uh, like I said, I'll familiarize or re-familiarize myself, I should say, uh, with all the controls as we go through. No. Like I said, it's been a while since I played it. I'm not mm. that familiar with it. I've played other uh, Blizzard real-time strategy oh, games no. in the meantime. So uh, some of my knowledge is, is going to be a little haphazard from time mm. to time, but I get the basic sense no. of what we are doing. Still have chain lightning. Notice that all the stuff that I got from the first level have carried over. Mm. Also, there are Your gnolls around here. Come. And they're asleep, which will make things easier for me. Now, I, once again, should be micromanaging this, uh, sending whoever has the weakest away. I get, I get yes. a little bit of gold from that, too. We need more your gold. army has grown to such a large size that it now requires a portion of your income to sustain it. This maintenance cost is referred to as upkeep. So now I'm only getting 70% of my gold, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right, uh, get the warden. Will survive. Get the warden and no. chain lightning. All right, we got the big guy. What do we have here? A scroll of healing. His life for the horde, you guys. Master? His whole life. Thought All right. So. Go down what there. Okay, make more. Need more gold. I still need more gold? Yes. How much? There's We're like, I can't really produce much more than this. I Things am. cost so much. And I got myself the Scroll of Healing. Heals 150 points to all friendly non-mechanical units around the hero when used. So it's not just mm. self. It is an area of effect. Yeah, I need more burrows. But to be honest, that's more than enough. That is so many for this mission. We're good. As you can see, now I'm only making seven. I'm only making seven, but 10 is coming out of the mine each and every time. So that's the problem with upkeep. They almost make you think that it's not worthwhile to get a large army, but it's what totally worthwhile to get a large army. As you can see, I can only select uh, 12 of these guys at yeah. a time. And now we're gonna go over the inflatable bridge uh, 
I don't know. Just the way that it appears in the cutscene is just so weird. Uh, I don't believe these will attack. These are just scout towers, not watch towers, so they do not attack. I believe if you are on hard difficulty, they will attack. Uh, but we're, we're not doing this on uh, on normal difficulty at the lower settings uh, because I don't think I can do it here. I'm just trying to establish uh, what we're doing throughout. I don't believe there are any more secrets around here. I think it's just the knolls, which is kind of disappointing. And I can't, I can't even destroy the buildings. Of all the things that have been here, these are the ones I wanted to destroy the most, and they won't let me do it. For Looks honor. like we have found the farmlands, though. Dabu. For honor. No units. No. Uh, you can attack gates to destroy yes. them. So let's take care of the watchtowers out front. As you can see, this is not necessarily difficult. They kind of expect you to go out once you have made five grunts and no. stop producing. I have stopped producing, but that's because I've reached my uh, supply cap and I don't feel like doing anymore because I know this will win. I know this will win. They ex like I said, they expect you to go with five and I'm going out with 11, just a little bit more than double. And unfortunately, there's nothing really all that great around here. We can find a couple just, uh, what do you guys call Footmen. As opposed to my grunts. I don't want to call them the wrong name. I'm like, soldiers. No, oh, footmen. Same thing. And by killing these guys, we have freed Deckard Kane. Ah, it's a grunt. Oh, well. We will leave him behind. And now I have three more food uh, than I have actually supplied. Uh, just go, at, you know what? We can bring Master. everybody that's been freed along the way. I All right, you guys watch. are going forward again. Like I said, I don't For think honor. there's anything else around here, which yes. is always a little disappointing. Oh Your no, another footman. Down he goes. And now Direct we have me. access to a shaman. New acu unit acquired. The spellcaster has a ranged attack and then can cast the purge spell on enemy units to slow their movement. Right Great. What you we'll want? have uh, one of you guys slow. hang back then, and we'll bring him along, and I will completely Lopricon. not micromanage him When you control at multiple all. spellcasters at the same time, it often becomes necessary to quickly switch between them to cast their individual spells. By using the subgroup interface, you can do so without having to try to select them individually. Notice that the currently selected units are displayed in the bottom middle portion of your screen by little portraits. One of the unit portraits is highlighted with a yellow glow. This means that it is the currently activated subgroup. You can switch between subgroups by pressing the tab key or left clicking on one of the portraits that is not highlighted. This activates that subgroup and displays their spells in your command card. So we can just hit tab to hit purge, which is on G. Uh, but to be honest, like, yes. like I've been saying this whole time, I have so many units compared to what they actually yes. expect me to come out with. But this is not going to be a big deal. We do have a new unit over there. It looks like a mage from back here, but it is not. We'll get there. We'll get there. We're just going to attack this guy for the time being. I don't think they'll come out for him. They do not. Keeps on looking like they might, but they're not going to. Not until he's dead. All right, here we go. They are indeed riflemen. They just have long beards. Not everybody that has a long beard is a magician, you guys. Some of them are also just plain dwarves. All right, come on. I do have two ranged units, which is nice, I guess, but uh, not using them properly, but I don't really need to. And even on hard difficulty, this is exceedingly easy. Did you guys see that? One of my guys stopped working for a second. Who stopped working? It had to be one of these guys. They're running out of wood. Don't stop working. I don't not pay you guys to not work, okay? Oh, we have upgrades here. Oh, we, I see something over this way, though. So we're going this way instead. I'm up to 63 food. Yes. I only have 50 supply. Oh, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. All right, back out here so we can get a good surround. 
back out here. All right, Master you guys head Otan. down here. Oops. Hang out with these guys. Oh, there's another shaman. How can I help? You want? We'll take out one of the grunts for him. Let's get on. All right, head in. More ranged units is probably better. It's hard to get us around in this Warchief. game. We found where they're holding Grom, but the area is protected by fortified guard towers. Then destroy them. Hellstream must be freed. I'm supposed to be focusing. I'm supposed to be doing a few things, but it does not really matter. Yes, some people have stopped working. Those guys are dicks. Hmm? Who stopped working? You guys? You want something to do? Huh? All right, you guys go chop over here. This is unacceptable, you guys. You guys are ruining my score which is clearly the most important thing right now. All right, we took out knights in case you couldn't tell. Uh, those were just knights. I was too busy micromanaging, which is absolutely needed for this. All right, so we need to move forward and destroy the towers. Let's do that and we'll send our, our other forces in as well. Are, are they hitting one of my shamans? They are. Holy crap. Back off of that. Back off of that. How They're going after my shamans. Yes. Right? All right, it, it doesn't matter. Go wherever. Hit whichever thing you want. We need to destroy the towers. Oh no, one of my shamans died. What you want? Once again, micromanagement. Not necessarily my strongest suit, but uh, not necessarily in this game. I would say. Have you increased? You have not increased any. XP as a result of this. You're not getting anything. What am I even working with you for? No, the other shaman. But we have rescued Grom and we win. There were ships in the back. Are we going to deal with that? We are. Grom, are you all right? I'm fine, little brother. Luckily, they only injured my pride. Great, because we're getting out of here now. We're leaving the human lands for good. Finally, follow me. I have an idea. <laughs> we can set sail on the humans' own ships. <laughs> Perfect. But we'll need to wait for the rest of the horde. The horde is assembled, War Chief. We await only your command. Now, go, young Thrall. Sail west to the lands of Kalimdor. It is there that you will find your destiny. It is there that your people's salvation will be assured. And we have won again. This one took me a little bit longer. These maps do take longer than uh, what I would say I'm used to in, uh, let's say, StarCraft 2 or even Warcraft 2, I would say, was a little bit uh, shorter to start. But uh, with that said, my score is okay, probably. It would be better if it was on hard mode, but as you can see, lots of units, lots of heroes, lots of resources. That's where almost, well, a little bit more than a third of my score came from. I was about to say almost half, but it wasn't quite half. All right, I made 41 units, I killed 21. I lost, uh, they're not going to tell me, are they? Oh, I lost two. Both of them shamans, both to the towers at the end because I stopped caring. Uh, I have uh, quite a bit of stuff. I did get one item. Still says I used two heroes. I'm not sure if they're counting the profit on Grom Hellscream on that one. Uh, but primarily, it was just uh, it was just Thrall. I didn't gain any experience. I don't care what that says. But as you can see, I got a lot of gold, a lot of lumber. I didn't trade any, uh, but I got 8% of my tech. So, hooray. And 1,539 gold lost to upkeep. What are you going to do? But we have one. So let's continue on. And we have finished the prologue. And now we can move on to the human campaign. The Scourge of Lord Aran. But we will take that on next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. I've been Baller Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by footmen that died quite easily. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>